Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So, this is just another garage update letting you know what's going on. I got the gas gas stuff out of all the crevices in the garage and it is up on the table. And then I have the bin with all the plastics and stuff. That stuff just has to be cleaned. Frame and motor all ready to go in the corner chilling. Um, I got a lot of the junk on top of here in different bins. As you guys can see, this whole corner is now free. I did have a four tier kind of storage rack thing going on here. A lot of this stuff was on there. Now I can actually go through all of this I have another bin hiding underneath there. That's all stuff that's been sorted, kind of. But uh, yeah, so I got the gas gas stuff. That stuff's up and ready to go. Got to press some bearings in here and then get the swing arm on, then get the subframe motor in. Got to pick up some hardware and whatnot. Then you slide over. I'm getting my wheels set up for the 50s so that I could get a little content for you guys for some mini Monday action on the track this time um i don't know if i'm gonna have my 50 jumping back there but uh i might be just throwing the uh whole bbr rear wheel on this one right here you guys have not seen any content of this bike this is the one that i traded with the uh the kx 125 this one has the 125 motor on it this thing is a beast with stock gearing beast so with this uh, wheel. Let me actually pull the wheel out. She's not too far. But this is my BBR setup. But it's a 40 tooth in the back, which is going up three teeth. So, I mean, she already pulled extremely hard. And, like, this is what happened to the steel sprocket. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so what I got up here are the brake pads. Um, got them all cleaned up and ready to go for my bike. I got some uh, more meaty pads as well. And with that, I'm throwing my handbrake back on. So we're ready to go. This is a customer's bike. It needs a full motor rebuild. Uh, top end job was done. Um, I got the bike running. It was inspected. It took the bike out for a test drive. Completely, completely, completely locked up. Lost everything. Woo! So she's going to need a full, full, full motor rebuild. We just, we're working out a price. That's some more of his goodies over there. So yeah, that's all that's really uh, going down. Um, we got the tank to this actually being prepped. Um, I didn't get to show you guys before, but now I got my solution in there. And uh, you see the bare metal in there. You see the bare metal. Now I just got... um. Let's see where those notches are. All right. Pretty much, I gotta get some little pellets, pebbles, whatever, get it in there. Get all the heavy stuff out, get some sealing in there. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. And then we'll be done with that. And then this bike will be going back to him. Spruced up, got some air in the tire. Um, everything was good with her. She fired up, goes right through the gears. Um, the lights came on. I didn't test the blinkers, but um, I'll give him a call. That's his uh, his call, what he wants to do. I actually have a little tank I was supposed to bring here, or he might be bringing here, for that bike just to get it going so he could put around for the weekend. And I'll probably get some street clips for this weekend, actually. I just got to get my wheel on, get this wheel on. We'll get some street clips, and then we'll get some dirt clips. Um, these ladies are just resting in here. Have a little fun, little girls' night out. But, um, yeah... Maybe we'll have Ryan back at the track. Who knows? But, um, so yeah, just keeping it short and sweet. Thanks for joining me for this one, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave that in the comment section of the video. If you guys are new to the channel and want to tag along to see some of these bikes put to test, some of these builds come to life, and uh, some of my little DIY hacks and tips, and, you know, I try to keep it as transparent as possible. If that's what you're into, click that subscribe button. And if you guys like this video or found it at all amusing or appealing, click that like button. It truly does help. And um, as usual, I will see you guys in the next one.